to another stitch tutorial. Another nice and quick one. A way to maybe start your projects. I say maybe. It is a way to start your projects. So this is going to be the chainless foundation in double crochet. There's already a single crochet um, tutorial down below. If this is a little bit too complicated, maybe take a look at that one first before progressing to this one. But let's get this one started. So after you have made your slip stitch, slip knot, slip knot, <laughs> we are going to chain four. So one, two, three, four with my custom hook from Jelena. Mm -hmm -hmm. Down below. I'm going to yarn over and go into the very first chain made. So into the very first chain, but we're not going to go in as standard with just one loop or one part of the stitch, should I say. You need to catch the front and then the back ridge, okay? So go all the way through, which can be a little bit tricky at the beginning. There we go. And when you've gone through, you have two thirds of that stitch on your hook. Underneath, you've got the one loop, but on the top where it counts, it's two thirds of the stitch. So when you've gone through, yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. I want you to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two again. Now, yarn over. Down here is where our new double crochet starts. And again, we want to go into the front and the back ridge. So we have two parts of that stitch on our hook. We yarn over and pull through one. Yarn over and pull through one again. That's the start of our double crochet. Yarn over and pull through two to finish the double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two to complete the chain. The chain. So again, yarn over, go into the base of that double crochet. Take the front and the back of the stitch and yarn over. Pull through, move your thumb up. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two again. Next, yarn over. Where our thumb is, is where we need to be doing our insertion of the hook. So the thumb is indicating to this stitch here, where we go in to the front and the back of that stitch, yarn over, pull through, move thumb up, Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two to finish. Yarn over, go in to the stitch where our thumb was. Make sure you've got the front and the back. Yarn over, 
pull through, yarn over, pull through one and move that thumb up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you'll see we're making double crochets. So you keep going as long as you need. I'll just make a couple more just so you can see what it looks like when it's all worked up. And this way is a good thing for when you're crocheting tops or something where you don't want that harsh edging because you want to put a new edging on it. I've got human error here, I can't find the back ridge. <laughs> um, because you don't have to go into that harsh and restrictive chain and you've got a lot more movement and elasticity with this. Oops. So remember it's yarn over, go into the front and the back ridge of the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the remaining two and stitch done. Yarn over into the front, oops, into the front and the back. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and I'm going to do one more. So yarn over, into the front, out the back, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And if I just put a funky metallic stitch marker to stand out nicely on this. We have got our row of double crochets with no chain. So it is flexible, it is stretchy, and it is easy to go into because you have got perfect stitches for placement. So there you have it. Chainless double crochet foundation. I hope it's been of some use. If it has, please give a thumbs up if you're willing. Maybe you might even subscribe for a couple more tutorials. They might not be visually perfect just yet, but I hope the explanation helps even a smidgen. Maybe subscribe down below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.